there's uh, something for all local tennis fans out there. Tennis is on the rise, man. We heard about the Monty yeah. brothers that are doing great things. They might be headed on their way to Junior, da junior Davis Cup um, so somewhere sometime. But uh, South African men's tennis will be showing off their skills on the court in Pretoria. And we hand it over to Graham right now, who is with one of South African tennis or one of our South African tennis players, Nick Scott. South Africa's national men's tennis team will be in action this coming weekend as they take on Israel in a Davis Cup tie at the Irene Country Club in Pretoria. Very happy hunting ground for the team. So win this weekend will see South Africa progress to round two of the Africa Europe Group 1 as they continue their rise up the world rankings. They've had a phenomenal run of late. Joining us this morning ahead of his team's clash, we we'll chat to South African Davis Cup te uh, tennis player and team man Nick Scott. Nick, um, welcome to the show, dudes. Thanks for having me. Uh, great to connect with you, especially at, at such a good time for South African tennis. Uh, the men's right. team is, is riding high at the moment. We have to look back 17 years for the last time that we, we met against Israel. It was a 3-2 win for Israel back in 2001. I take it you weren't in the team back then, obviously. <laughs> no, I think I was still learning to play the game at, at that time. You're, you're a bit of a late bloomer when it, when it comes to, to tennis, but your time certainly has arrived now. Personally, how are you feeling? How's the body? How's the game? Where Where is your head at going into this Davis Cup tie? You know, I'm feeling good. Um, I've had obviously um, a lot of confidence that I can take with me into this tie from the previous tie when I won a uh, you know four and a half hour a cracker battle there. So yeah, I've, I've, my, my Davis Cup record is pretty good, and and in general, you know, we're training really hard. I'm training here at the Anthony uh, Harris Tennis Academy in Sea Point, and. Um, you know, I couldn't have asked for better preparation. I think I think things are going really well, and the whole team is looking great physically and mentally. Yeah. Mentioned Irene Country Club being a happy hunting ground. I think it's five of the last six um, ties there, Davis Cup ties that you right. won. Playing on home soil, obviously you get to spend a lot of time in the US. You've played a lot of junior tournaments all around the world. How cool is it playing this kind of tournament here in South Africa? It's amazing, you know. Gr growing up, we don't get to play uh, much in South Africa, and especially after high school, you know, um, when we play the more senior tournaments, we have to travel every week of the year. So being able to play here um, is obviously an advantage because you're home, but also to play in front of your family and friends, people yeah. who've never seen you play because they always hear, oh, Nick, yeah, I think he plays tennis. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've, I think I might have seen him here or there, but they've never really seen you actually do what you do. So having those people being able to come watch just means a lot, and it, it tends to always bring out the best in, in anyone in any sport playing in front of the people and on uh, home soil. And you're going to need it this weekend. You guys are looking very strong. Israel looking pretty strong at the moment. What, what are we expecting? Because this really is a team. You've all got to count on each other. You've got to, you've got to step up. Right. You know, it's not like, uh, unfortunately, I can't pass the ball to anyone else and be like, hey, I'm feeling a bit <laughs> tight, so yeah, you, you go for the gap. You know, <laughs> Just, or, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know it, it is a team, but at the end of the day, when you're out, out on those, on the, between those lines, it's just you, and you have to take care of business. So, you know, we, before and after and during the match, we can encourage each other and try... Uh, get get each other to prepare the best we can, um, but we have to we have to count on each other, and, and and each guy has to has to pull his weight. But um, you know I'm confident in the guys, and you know whatever the result is, I know everyone's going to give 100. percent What are you expecting from your time? From the team or from from, from you personally? from your match? Yeah. Well, you know obviously we off, yeah. we're uh, we're all aware that their number one player is is Duty Seller, who's you know he's been playing major Grand Slams for many years and has been around 60 in the world, so he. You know, he's the real deal. Um, but, you know, I, I believe I can beat anyone. You know, I think in, if any athlete, if you don't have that mentality, you shouldn't even be doing what you're doing. Um, I always know that um, going in, I'll be a bit of an underdog, but, you know, that's great. I think, um, I think it's an even, evenly matched battle. I don't think it's, uh, you know, he should be too much of a favorite or anyone. I think when you... When, when you play for your country, it, it brings out the best in any player, and, and I think the guy who shows up on the day will win. Ah, dude, well, big things expected from you this year. All the best of luck, and, and enjoy it this weekend before we get ahead of ourselves. Um, really soak it up, enjoy playing in front of, of family and friends, and, and hopefully a ton of South African right. fans, but all the best of luck for 2018. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. And all the best of luck to the rest of the Davis Cup team up against Israel. If you can get out to the Irene Country Club to support, go and do it. There's going to be some phenomenal tennis on offer. Oh, well.